hello everyone so let's look at ransomware attacks and also the top five questions on ransomware attacks for the CISA exam all right so let's uh, before you know discussing about the top five questions on this topic of ransomware attack let's understand what exactly do we mean by ransomware okay so I'll give you a small chart i won't say it's a chart but you know it will help you to decode this ransomware attack it's easy actually so ransomware ransomware you know it is derived from two words ransom plus malware okay i hope that everyone knows the meaning of the term ransom ransom means payment demanded by attacker i mean it could be attacker it could be anyone so when we say ransom ransom we ransom means you are paying someone right you are paying some amount okay uh, you know in in this particular case of ransomware we are paying the amount to the attacker because the attacker has demanded some amount some money from us okay and when we say malware malware is something which everyone knows malware is malicious software malicious software designed to harm computer systems right now in case of ransomware okay in case of ransomware what exactly is this malware doing okay in case of ransomware what exactly is this malware doing it encrypts it encrypts i hope everyone understand the term encryption if you don't understand encryption we have complete video on you know basics of encryption you can go and watch the complete video okay and uh, whoever are watching the lectures our students i hope that you have gone through domain 5 all the videos and then afterwards you are watching these mcqs videos because if you haven't watched domain 5 videos on encryption especially there are multiple videos on encryption if you haven't watched that you won't understand the term encryption okay but anyways okay so what exactly is this attack doing it is encrypting what victims files the so organization's files and demand payment demand payment in exchange demand payment in exchange of decryption key so what exactly happens you know we, we all know that you know uh, encryption uh, like you know when you encrypt the data it is not accessible okay it is not in the readable format and for that to make it in the readable format you will have to decrypt it right decrypt using the decryption key okay so here what exactly is happening is that okay the attacker is encrypting the victim's files and then he's asking okay i want some money i'm demanding some money you just pay me the money and i will give you the decryption key and i will give you the data back this is what the attacker is demanding all right so this is what ransomware is all about okay now things are not yet over okay okay so we have preventive measures as well as corrective measures for ransomware we have preventive as well as corrective measures okay so uh, you know the so preventive measures is same you know which 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 is which is common for any kind of attack you know not specifically to ransomware but for any kind of attack preventive measures or whether it's corrective measures honestly it remains the same Okay, but still we will discuss it and i'll also give you few things from the uh, angle of ransomware
all right so let's look at some of the preventive measures but you know as what we have what i have already mentioned that you know these these things will remain uh common for you know any of the attacks okay so uh you know the preventive measures you know you can see here just a second yeah operating system uh, operating system software up to date with latest security updates and patches okay whether it is your os or whether it is your applications so software you need to uh, keep it up to date with all the security updates and patches uh, updated you know updated anti malware anti virus uh, you know you have to be very cautious of the phishing mails not to open any uh, i mean you have to uh, beware you know before opening any attachments you have to see you know who has sent that mail from where you have received the mail you know uh, you have to be you know cautious about these things because you know when we say phishing mails most of the times these kind of uh, you know uh, ransomware attacks happens through this route okay then we have multi factor authentication firewalls ids ips and all those things so these are the common preventive measures okay then you also have the corrective measures and questions in the in the exam from ransomware you know it will mostly be not from the angle of the preventive but from the angle of the corrective but sometimes this corrective uh, you know measure might become preventive also we will discuss about that okay so when we say corrective we all know uh, number one example of corrective control being backups why do we say backups are corrective control is because backup is not preventing okay backup when you take any backup of any of the data it is not preventing any uh, unwanted event to occur right so in, in in this case the attack to happen right you have taken backup doesn't mean that the attack won't happen okay so backups are not preventing or not mitigating you know uh, this uh, uh, this risk okay what what exactly it is doing it is it is acting as a corrective measure corrective control so if that particular event happens we have the backup and we can get the data back okay i'll, I'll discuss about this thing once again see what exactly happens in ransomware is that the data the organization's files systems and files is encrypted okay by the attacker okay now the attacker is asking for what the attacker is asking for money okay you pay me ransom and i'll give you the decryption key okay this is what the attacker is doing right now if we have the backups at least we can get our data back okay because if we don't have the backup if we don't have the backup the encryption keys the the, the decryption keys is with the is, is with the attacker right so he he is demanding for the money okay and if the files if the system is very sensitive or it is very important for us in that case it may have an impact in our, in in our business okay in our company's reputation okay the reputation may damage okay so it may have an impact on our uh day to day business all right so, and also you have to understand one thing here see uh i don't know if you re if you remember this thing but you know in the encryption lectures we have discussed that we can have multiple layers of encryption there i have discussed that okay this is the encryption again the encrypted data is again encrypted then the again this encrypted uh, encrypted data can again be re encrypted okay that there can be multiple layers of protection right this is what we have discussed in the encryption part right so here also you have to understand one thing if the organization's data if the company's data is already encrypted okay let's assume this this is the data okay this is the data and this data is encrypted this is encrypted just a second this is encrypted by organization the company itself okay 
so now the attacker can re-encrypt the encrypted data okay data is already encrypted the attacker will come and he will put his layer of protection on already encrypted data right so he has done what he has put his layer of encryption re-encryption right encryption by attacker by attacker all right now you have to understand one thing if this particular event happens okay now understand if you have the backup okay if you have the backup if the company is having the backup the company need not worry about paying any ransom at all the company need not even worry about paying any ransom the reason is because the reason is because even if even if they have they have our data the data is already in the encrypted format right so they cannot access our data okay even if they have done the re-encryption part okay okay you can take our data no problem no, no problem not an issue okay why because because the data is already encrypted in the first place itself by the company right so this is something which you which you need to understand very uh, you know, I mean, there should not be any doubt here. Okay, if you have the backups, if you have the backups, and if if your data, and that's the reason, you know, we when we discuss about the best practices, we we always say that all the sensitive information should be stored when the data is in the REST format. It should be stored in encrypted form. This is the importance of it. Okay. So here, if it is already in the encrypted format, if the attacker comes, he re-encrypts. If you have the backup, you need not worry. If you don't have the backups, if you don't have the backups, then you have to worry. Okay? Then you will have to worry, right? Then you will have to pay the ransom. Correct? Okay? This is scenario number one. Scenario, scenario number one is what? Your existing data is already encrypted by the company. Scenario number two, your existing data, your ex existing data is not in encrypted form. Okay, this is not in encrypted form. Okay, now the attacker comes and he encrypts this particular files. Okay. Now you have the backups, but still backups are of no use. Okay, understand one thing here. Okay, backups will be useful for you to you know continue a business. Okay, so that your business doesn't have any downtime. For that, it can help you. Okay, because if if these data were sensitive data, and if these data were in uh, were not in the encrypted form okay it is not in the encrypted form by the company okay the, the company didn't do the encryption okay the attacker comes he places his encryption here okay now if you have the backups okay it can help you to some extent okay definitely it can help you to you know recover your business okay which we which we discuss in the disaster recovery and all those stuff okay there it can help you but you have to understand one thing okay you will still have to pay the ransom why you will still end up paying the ransom the reason is because these are the sensitive data and you know if the attacker is having access here to the to the, to the data the, the attackers have access to the data but in the first case the attackers were not having access to the data okay the attacker just uh, in the first in the in the first case the attacker just they have placed their own encryption okay okay in the already encrypted data but in the second case the attackers are placing their encryption in the unencrypted data okay so attackers are having full access to the to the data so they can you know they can uh, try to you know uh, see that okay if you don't pay us the ransom we will you know leak out the data to the public 
okay so this is something which they can they can uh, try to uh, you know uh, uh, tell to the organization and they can uh, they can demand the ransom right okay so this is i i hope you have understood the two scenarios okay the backups are there but backups will be more beneficial in the first case if you have the encryption mechanism right if you have both mechanisms superb right the attackers even if they have attacked they won't be able to do anything you know uh, anything bad for the company okay i hope this makes sense okay one more thing which comes under corrective control uh, you can say corrective control you can even say it is it has a preventive control uh, is we, we always uh, we, all, we have lots of questions on this topic as well I, you know I, I have i have plans to make videos on this topic also which is isolate or quarantine the infected system the infected computer systems from your network to prevent further spread now this is common for any kind of you know uh, virus or worms or you know uh, malware that you know whenever any system is affected the first thing what you do is that you try to isolate that particular system from the network so as to prevent the spread of the malware to the to all the systems in your network okay so here this is also you can say one of the preventive measures okay or you know so uh, you can say as a corrective measure also but actually it's not a corrective measure we say corrective is because the incident has already happened the security incident has already occurred and now we are taking the steps okay now we are reacting to it okay but you can also say it as preventive uh, uh, control be because it is preventing the other systems other computers other laptops in the network to be impacted okay so it is kind of preventing the other computers as well all right let's proceed ahead all right so i think i have discussed everything here uh, all right so whatever things you have to know uh, you know uh, for the ransomware everything we have discussed so let's start solving the top 5 questions on this topic of ransomware question number 1 what is the best way to reduce the impact of a successful ransomware attack best way to reduce the impact when we when we say best way to reduce the impact we are talking about corrective controls we are not talking about preventive controls we always say the best controls are preventive controls but you know here we are talking about the corrective controls because we are reducing the impact it means the attack has already occurred the attack has already been occurred and now we are reducing the impact of the attack okay how will we do that in case of ransomware backups but let's again read the options perform frequent backups and store them offline when we say offline we 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 mean that okay uh, which is not linked with your network okay you can say offsite backups so when we say backups we always say that as a as a good practice you have to keep your backups off site not on site not in your premises off site right and which is not connected with your network because if one system is impacted with ransomware it can spread across the network it may even you know uh, uh, you know uh, encrypt the backups also the attacker may also try uh, you know if they get the access to the backups if the if the backups are stored on premise okay the attacker may uh, you know spread the uh, spread the malware and you know even they may encrypt the backups also so that's why we say that the we, we say we say that per, perform frequent backups and store them offline option number b purchase or renew cyber insurance policy it's good 
because insurance is also what corrective but again you know when we say ransomware backups backups are the best you know there is no other thing but even insurance is what insurance is also a corrective control why insurance is corrective control because insurance taking insurance is not preventing the incident right it it can only help you correct the the incident i mean it will help you to recover the losses all right include provisions to pay ransom in the information security budget include provisions to pay ransom you are saying that okay let's put let's put a point saying that okay we uh, you know in, in these cases we'll be ready to pay ransom okay but understand one thing you know even if you pay ransom the attacker see it will only motivate the attacker if you pay ransom to them it it will only in the end it will only motivate and there's no guarantee there is no guarantee that the attacker will give you the, the decryption key and you know it they and they will not leak out the data in the dark web okay, there is no guarantee about that then option number d is monitor the network and provide alerts on intrusions so this is not a corrective measure all right so let's look at question number 2 which of the following presents the greatest challenge to the recovery of critical systems and data following a ransomware incident greatest challenge to uh, for the recovery of critical systems following ransomware incident option number a lack of encryption for backup data in transit undefined or undocumented backup retention poli policies i'm sorry ineffective alert configurations for backup operations option number d unavailable or corrupt data backups now here the correct answer is option number d unavailable or corrupt data backups okay. now some people they may get confused between option number b and option number d they may say okay why can't option number b is b be the answer which is undefined or undocumented backup retention policies okay because this is also this also shows that you know there is what there is slight issues with the governance okay i mean there there, there is slight issues with the having proper policies the proper backup retention policies okay if it is undefined or undocumented it's a risk okay but here understand again read the question the question is in which tense okay greatest challenge during which stage before or after greatest challenge for what for recovery of critical systems following a ransomware attack okay so following a ransomware attack when ransomware incident happens you know following that what could be the greatest challenge for the recovery okay the greatest challenge will be that you don't have the backups backups were not taken that's the challenge right you have to always read the question is asking you know uh, like what, what exactly is the meaning of the question the question is saying that the incident has already occurred the incident ransomware incident already happened it is not asking you you know before the incident you know you have to have the good uh, practices you know you have to have the good policies procedures and everything no the question is not mentioning about that the question is clear cut it's saying that incident has already occurred okay and now you want to recover the data but you are finding it what you are finding it difficult okay in which situation you will find it difficult you will find it difficult when the data backups are not available or the data backups are available but it has become corrupt all right let's look at the next question which of the following should be of the greatest concern to an is auditor conducting an audit of an organization that recently experienced a ransomware attack which of the following should be the greatest concern for the for the auditor conducting an audit of an organization that recently experienced a ransomware attack option number a anti virus software was unable to prevent the attack even though it was properly updated okay option number b the most recent security patches were not 
tested prior to implementation c backups were only performed within the local network this we have discussed also right off site on site backups employees were not trained on cyber security policies and procedures okay latest concern for the auditor okay who is doing the audit okay of the company the company has recently experienced ransomware attack so ransomware attack they experienced ransomware attack even after experiencing the attack you people are so shameless you still don't have what i mean you still have the backups within your local network you still don't have good practices you still don't keep your uh, backups uh, off site okay you, you still don't keep your uh, backups offline okay so this is what this is the greatest concern okay now antivirus software see you know antivirus software definitely it has to work but you have to understand one thing when we say antivirus firewalls ids ips endpoint protection you know dlp uh, so there are so many tools available in the market okay we use combination of all the tools one tool cannot prevent everything if you have this miscon misconception in your mind that just anti malware is going to prevent or protect you from everything you are wrong one tool cannot prevent everything so we use combination of tools okay so that's the reason you know option number a won't be the right answer option number b the most recent security patches were not tested prior to implementation they should be uh, again this is a good practice but uh, but also but, but here for for this particular question the answer would be option number c which is backups were only performed in the local network option number d again uh, training uh, you know training is, it is very much important it is required but it won't come in the ransomware see i can give you one hint here in, in case of ransomware question most mostly the answer would rotate around backups that's why i have already discussed in the in in, in the start that you know most of the answers will be uh, you know from the corrective controls especially the backups all right so here the correct answer is option number c let's look at the next question which of the following should be of the greatest concern to an is auditor conducting an audit oh, okay i think this is already solved look at the next question which of the following is the best way to mitigate uh, just a second how many questions we have solved till now first second one okay so three questions we have solved so i think one question is missing right what is let's look at uh, the fourth question which are which are the following is the best way to mitigate the impact of ransomware attacks mitigate 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 doesn't mean doesn't mean here preventive because mitigate what mitigate the impact when we say impact it means attack has already occurred now we are reducing the impact okay backup uh, backing up data frequently that's the best way to mitigate the impact of ransomware attacks All right uh, let me look at the next question which is fifth one all right so let's look at the next question fifth question which is the following is the best way to ensure capability to restore clean data uncorrupted data full data after a ransomware attack purchase cyber insurance no? just purchasing insurance would ensure that encrypt sensitive production data perform integrity checks on backups option number d maintain multiple offline backups answer is option number d maintain multiple offline backups see why here option number b is not the right one because we have also discussed as a good practice you need to encrypt the sensitive production data if it is already encrypted by the company it's really good right but why this is not the answer here and why option number d is the answer the reason is that whenever you get confused between any two options in the exam hall two options you know you are finding it almost close 
okay you need to again go back to the question read the question two to three times you will definitely find some hint okay this is what i do and it works and this is what i always teach in the lectures also which of the following is the best way to ensure the capability to restore question is talking about restoration you want to restore it the question is not talking about you know uh not have i mean the company uh, how can you prevent the company from paying the ransom the question is not talking about that the question is just talking about restoration we don't worry about paying the ransom or not we just we are just worried about capability to restore capability to restore it, it will come only if you have what multiple uh, offline backups option number d right it cannot uh, be ensured with option number b okay that's the reason the correct answer is here option number d i hope everyone has under, everyone has learned thank you